Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my colleague and I, we've uh, called this press conference today to reveal some of the stark findings that we found uh, yesterday at the Citizen and Immigration meeting that was held here in Center Block. As you can see in, uh, from our press release, 147 clerical staff have been let go by the Conservative government at the Sydney Processing Centre. Now, what does this mean besides 100 and fam 150 families being put out of work in one of the highest unemployed areas in Canada? What we heard yesterday at the committee is that the Sydney Case Processing Centre, they can do the job. We had employees there telling how they did the job, how they cleared the backlog up. And with these layoffs, we also heard the wait times are going to increase for immigrants coming here. So with me today, I have the MP from Scarborough, Mr. Kerry Giannis, and he knows all too well from his riding's perspective on, on the impact it's going to have. So I move it over to Mr. Kerry Giannis. Thank you, and good morning. Um, at Case Processing Center of Sydney, they are processing uh, PR cards, and they're also processing uh, citizenship and immigration uh, citizenship cards. The people that are applying for the PR cards and the people that are applying for the citizenship cards are not people that are waiting to come to Canada. These are people that have landed in Canada and are Canadian citizens. In order to apply for a PR card, you have to pay for the processing of it. And in order to become an immigrant, uh, to become a citizen, and, and if you're applying for a citizenship card or a citizenship renewal, you also have to pay. So this is, people are paying for the service and it's a cost recovery. It's costing the government absolutely very minimal at that but however the people that are there working are being laid off and because of that we're getting times waiting times back in our ridings especially in montreal and toronto and vancouver and other centers of people that want to get their citizenship card up to two years and people that want to get their permanent resident card up to any worse between eight months plus these are horror stories that we hear and horror stories of people coming into our offices and to hear yesterday firsthand from the employees that they're let go completely is dumbfounded. The Conservative government has to come to some terms and some agreements to realize that we're paying for the service, the people are willing to work, and the people of Sydney, Nova Scotia deserve the jobs. They're doing a good job. In my estimation of having dealt with a lot of the case processing centers, they're one of the most friendliest people that we deal with. And I think the hospitality down east is probably something that you're going to see when, when we, we hear this today. But it's a shame that the Conservative government is letting these people go when we need their services. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Karajanis. Um, now we're going to go on to a representative from uh, Mrs. Jeanette uh, Murnay McKay. And uh, she also spoke uh, eloquently yesterday at the conference and uh, at the committee, and she's going to give us a background of the employees. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Jeanette Murnay McKay. Je suis la présidente nationale du Syndicat de l'Emploi et d'Immigration Canada, élément de l'Alliance de la fonction publique du Canada. Nos 20 000 membres euh, comprennent des personnes travaillant au Centre de traitement de, de demande de citoyenneté et immigration Canada à Sydney, euh, en Nouvelle-Écosse. Et je... Good morning, my name is Jeanette Minnie McKay, and I am the National President for the Canada Employment and Immigration Union, a component of the Public Service Alliance of Canada. Amongst our 20,000 members that we represent are workers at the Sydney Case Processing uh, Centre for Sydney Citizenship and Immigration Canada. We are here today to call on the Conservative government to rescind the cuts to the Sydney Centre so that the new Canadians will not face unacceptably long delays to their full participation in Canadian society. The cuts strike at the heart of processing citizenship and permanent resident cards in Sydney. Cuts to the mailroom will mean that applications will sit even longer waiting to be sent for decision-making agents. Cuts to the agents will mean that they will sit even longer waiting for a decision. These cuts mean that clients of this service will face even longer delays for documents crucial to family reunification, travel overseas, and full participation in Canadian society. For those trying to enter Canada and contribute their specialized skills through the Foreign Skills Worker Program, these cuts will increase a current waiting time of seven to eight years for their applications to, to be assessed. This is totally unacceptable. 
What makes this even more mean-spirited in the, is that this government requires these people to pay directly for their services. Through cost recovery, immigrants and new Canadians bear the cost of processing and now face even poorer service. We call for these job cuts to be restored and that the Sydney Centre have sufficient staff to serve the Canadian public. And I will be happy to answer questions and will be available to speak to you after or by phone uh, later. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Um